9.30 in the morning. Normally I am up way earlier than this, like usually like 6.45, 7, but got a late start today. I forgot what day it is and I'm honestly not for it. Second, I also am like, oh God, look at this nasty ass pimple that's coming in. I also feel like I usually get these big breakouts when I'm about to get my period, but my period is so irregular. I I can't even tell you when that comes. Like I said, I usually do my skincare a lot earlier than this, but nine o'clock seems like kind of the right time. I like wash my face and do all that. But um, I wash my face with the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser. And then I use the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Keep Your Balance Toner. It smells really good. It smells like sunscreen. Can't speak to how good it works though. The only reason why I bought that is because I got this other toner from e.l.f. It's the Super Tone Alpha Hydroxy Acid Toner. And I didn't know that it wasn't an AM PM one. It was only to use in the evening, it says here. In the directions, use once per day in the evening. I was like, I like to tone my face like morning and night i am going to moisturize my face as well as put on sunscreen at the same time i'm using the alba botanica hawaiian oil free moisturizer i have used this in the past before i have like an oily combo skin so this works really well because it's oil free i got this little skincare little spoon off of shop miss a I ordered two of them because I wanted one for my AM and my PM moisturizer. And then sunscreen I'm using is this Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. God, I've had this for so long. I'm surprised I still have any left. I like it because it has no white cast, but it smells heavily like silicone and I don't like that. I found out that two fingers is the perfect amount for sunscreen, so if you're wondering, you're probably not, but if you're wondering if this pills, it doesn't. When I combine these two together, and then make sure to put it on your eyelids. I've got some dryness, like I have a dry patch on my eyelids right now. I've had it for a couple of weeks. And I got this similar patch like near my ankles a couple months ago, and I put itch relief cream on it, and it went away. So it, since it looks similar to that, I kind of just been moisturizing, and then when I'm feeling extra dry. I just put that cream on there. I also have been feeling really dry in the inner corners of my nose. So when I am putting on my moisturizer in the morning and at night, I like really rub it in there. And then during the day, I just put Aquaphor. Just a little bit on there. Next, I'm using the REM Beauty uh, Blurring Under Eye Balm. I use it after I do all my skincare, not so much like using it before makeup. I just think it feels good under the eye after I've done my entire skincare routine. Last thing I'm doing is um, taking a disposable spoolie and just brushing my brow hairs. Just like brushing your hair and like massaging your scalp, it stimulates hair growth. And my eyebrows are like the one spot on my body that just refuses to grow hair. And if it does, it only grows like underneath. And I'm like, bro. I don't need you to grow underneath, I need you to grow like in between the hairs. And then my lips have been extra dry lately, which is so odd because like I haven't changed anything that I've been doing so it, it might be the environment. I use uh, Aquaphor. Aquaphor is like my saving grace, bro. I love Aquaphor. I can't even begin to tell you how much Aquaphor I have at my desk and just in my life in general. I use the Aquaphor Lip Repair. So skincare is done. I'm going to spend some time browsing on my iMac over here. I'm watching a Life Plus Cindy video. This is, it's an old vlog from like Vlogmas last year. It just popped up on my recommended and I'm really interested. Like I'm really into watching her videos lately. I'm gonna watch that, I'm gonna catch up. Like I like to, keep up with the comments on both of the videos that i posted and then we'll catch up in a little bit um i have since i'm unemployed right now which i won't be in a week so i'm not necessarily going to be unemployed for long 
but there's this pile of clothes right here my boyfriend's a reseller he goes to the goodwill bins and like almost every day and just sources and finds clothing to uh, resell and it's mostly vintage clothing so i've been helping him out with listing those things on depop on his depop so i'm gonna go through those a little bit later take pictures write the descriptions he wrote down like the measurements and the name of the article of clothing and the price so all i really need to do is just take pictures and then post them on depop so i will catch up with y'all in a little bit It's about to be noon. I'm getting kind of hungry. Hold on a second. I did that for all my neurodivergent people who were nice when they were saying something, not the other people who were being rude. Yeah, so I am stuck between DoorDash and McDonald's because I really want a blue icy. I've been really obsessed with their blue icies lately. Or John and I cooked rice and chicken yesterday. Uh, he cooked the chicken, I helped cook the rice because he didn't know how to and it was like this garlic herb chicken that we bought at HEB and it wasn't bad but like mm, I don't know it's okay for a one-off kind of meal so I might just heat that up save some money I don't need to be door dashing all the time but let's go to the kitchen I'm gonna see what's there and maybe clean up a bit let's go see what's in my kitchen now we're in my kitchen by the way I wanted to show off my case to buy case look at it i love what it says on there my kitchen's a hot mess right now we're not gonna look at that first we're gonna see what he did with the chicken oh, okay he combined the chicken and the rice together so i might just eat this again to save money and then before i eat that i'm actually gonna clean the kitchen a little john made cookies last night he left the aluminum foil on the pan do y'all want to watch me do dishes I don't know if that's interesting to y'all, but we're running out of soap. I like to say that this is the Filipino way of cleaning dishes. Basically, um, you baba it, which is something my parents taught me when we were growing up, is when we're done eating, we uh, let our kind of our dishes soak in some soap basically just putting soap and water and kind of let that sit so that way whatever is like on the dish kind of come off i'm using a scrub mommy another thing i also like to do is get um the dishes all sudsy and foamy so that way the soap can really penetrate and get all the stuff off of the dishes i'm gonna clean this thing too this thing's kind of dirty i like this little peach bowl i think i got it at either target or hgb We did the dishes, everybody. Now I just put it in the dishwasher to dry. Oh my God, I didn't realize how much chicken we actually had. And I also wish he did not combine it with the rice, but it's okay. It's not like we were gonna use this rice for anything else really. Can I show you this? That happened a while ago and I was like really annoyed because like I was just using the microwave in the way it's supposed to be used and it just popped right off and yeah I don't know what we're going to do about that by the time it's smooth out day. If anyone's wondering if anybody's been here since like 2018 I used to be drinking Cokes on the daily. You know what's fun? That's 
has not stopped i still i mean i'm not like back then i was drinking coke up to like three times a day and now i i every so often have those days but not super often most i drink a day is like maybe two but i'm loyal to that H-E-B had a deal where it was like buy three of the 12 packs get the fourth one free and I was like why would you say that to me so here is what the food looks like I think I did take a little bit more rice than intended we do have a lot more chicken than we do rice I'm gonna go eat this I probably will be doing John's deep pop stuff after I eat but we'll see we'll see I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit all right guys it's been, I think, maybe like an hour, an hour and a half since I finished eating lunch. No, it's probably only been like an hour, maybe 45 minutes. I lied. So now I am going to start taking pictures of that stack of clothing right there. I normally take pictures of these clothes on my phone. No. <laughs> it's a little girl. It's the baby. I woke her up because I started talking near her. Sorry, boo. You want to say hi? Oh, stretch, stretch. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I was going to say hi. <laughs> Look at her tail. <laughs> Will you hit yourself in the face? Oh, she's got her little cookie in her mouth. Will, show your cookie. <laughs> so cute i've gotten like jokes in the past of like clipping her tail or clipping her ears and i'm like i don't think i could ever clip this little happy little tail and her ears are my favorite mainly because they're asymmetrical so one of her ears go like lays this way and one of her ears lay, lays like that and you can't really tell unless you're looking at her but it's so cute She's saying hi. Come here. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. <laughs> One day I'm going to have to make a whole video talking about her because she is my baby. You're a dog person. Let me know if that's a video you're interested in seeing. I love talking about Willow. She's my entire world. Will you let me talk now? Can I talk about dad stuff? Well, you lay here, I'll pet you while I talk about it. So anyways, I was saying, he has a little notebook that's like behind those bag of chips that has the name of the, like, the name of the article of clothing, the measurements, and the price. Ever since I got unemployed, that's what I've been doing to help out. So I'm not just sitting here and he's the one making all the money, you know? I'm going to start taking his pictures. I just take them out here in the living room. Normally I do it in this area over here where willow is literally laying <laughs> because uh the light from the window works best over here so i'm gonna try and convince this girl to get up on the couch so i can take some pictures on the floor over here stretch 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 those back legs yeah okay come on she's my little assistant while i do these little things oh thank you for the paw lay down lay down and then look watch She's so cute. You cutie girl. Mm -hmm. Time to take some pictures of clothes. Yeah, I'm gonna do maybe half of this bag and uh, see, see, see how it works out. Willow loves to be a helper. <gasps> Willow, can you go up on the couch, please? <gasps> Willow. I'm gonna keep taking pictures of this stuff and then I'll catch back up with y'all in I guess maybe 15, 30 minutes and see where I'm at and if I decided to stop or just continue. So I'll see you then. Okay y'all, I finished it. It really did only take me like 
30-ish minutes. Look at her perching. She's so cute. Look at him. Besides Willow, he is my pride and joy. This is my first cinema roll stuffy. I have a cinema roll collection video on my channel. I don't know if I've posted it yet, but if I did, I did mention that this was on its way. And then I did mention that my best friend got me this little cinema roll headband. And I was like, what if I put it on him? And then I did, and he looks so cute. He looks like he's ready to have a little spa day. It's currently 2.41 p.m. I think I'm just gonna chill for a little bit, do some of that deep pop drafting. Still watching Life Plus Cindy. I'm watching really old vlogs. And yeah, that's just what I'm gonna do right now. She's falling asleep over there. I'll catch back up with y'all whenever. <laughs> I don't know. Well. We'll see. All right, guys, it's 3.45. I think I'm gonna take Willow out for a little walk. I try not to take her on walks too much in the afternoon because right now in Texas, we're hitting like 100 degree days. So just for her little pause and just, I don't want her to like overheat and get too hot and hurt her little, her little paw pads. So we are gonna walk, but it's only gonna be short. I think I'm gonna also check the mail, but I am not expecting anything. We're just gonna go for a quick little walk so she can at least like take a little pee. I need to get her a new harness because this one's not that great. That's what she looks like. What I love about our apartment complex is they have like obviously trash centers for specifically dog poop and they have little baggies. So we have our own trash bags, but I don't feel like bringing one, so I'm just going to, I'm just gonna grab one of those in case she poops. Sit. Good girl. You wait. God, guys, look at how sunny it is. It is so sunny out. You ready? Let's go. Willow's really good at sniffing out when another dog has peed somewhere. So she'll pee, but she'll also like mark her territory. <laughs> like I expected, nothing in the mail today. Willa does this thing near our mailbox where she goes up to this little stone wall and checks to see if there's a bunny in there. <laughs> there was a bunny there one time and she thinks it's going to be there again. Such a silly girl. Okay, come on. It's not there. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. She took like two pee -pees. Like I said, a very quick, like, five minute walk to the mail. There was nothing there. I know. You tell them, Willow. You tell them. You tell them. Give me your phone. Shake. Good girl. Today, I know. Or I will wilt. So, oh, my baby. Oh, what's your bubby? Now we're just gonna relax. We're just talking about how we need to. Ew. Put that in there so Will can have some food. John's making a sandwich. Will was helping me take pictures. Was she? Yeah, by stepping all over the clothes. Wait, shake. Shake. She's okay. <laughs> she just swallows that. I was looking in here for a snack, but I don't. I guess I'll try these for the first time. They're alright. I like these. Garlic and repeated chips from HEB, but John went to Target one day and I asked for those and he got me the Good and Gather Target brand. And like they look good on the front, but I don't I don't know if I'll really like them. I'm really like loyal to my HEB repeated chips. They don't smell like anything. Yeah, it's just really uh, coated with sauce. Yeah, with the sauce, you mean the seasoning? Yeah. And they're round. The the ones from H E B are square. I told you right. This is like too heavy. More salty than anything. Yeah. You can barely taste the garlic. I mean, I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> look at look at how coated that is. Bad hummus. He'd probably be good. I'm not gonna vlog while he watches TV because he'll want he'll want the volume up louder. Say goodbye for now. It's about to be nine. We ate dinner like half an hour ago. And we got McDonald's. 
I just wanted a blue icy. We're gonna take Willow out to go potty. We don't know if she'll like poop or anything because once she pooped this morning and normally if she poops in the morning, she's like sad for the rest of the day, but sometimes she poops at night. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <sighs> she didn't eat the rest of her food that we put in her bowl like this evening this afternoon i think i like put it in there like four or five and she didn't really eat it which not a big deal but we still oh <laughs> but, <laughs> stop laughing at me i'm not trying to be cool always bullying me you're seeing it here right here right now folks my boyfriend bullies me. But Willow is like, she looks like she's ready. She looks so funny when she lays down on the floor sometimes. She looks like she died. I always get so concerned. She'll be like laying still for a while and I'll be like, girl, are you okay? Are you alive? And sometimes I can't tell if she's breathing so I have to touch her and wake her up. <laughs> this is what we do. I'm here at my desk and he's playing his video game or watching Game of Thrones. Toxic gossip train. It's all I'm gonna be known for my YouTube career. I'll catch up with y'all when we're out the door. This is what I'm wearing to walk Willow because I get bit the fuck up in the summer. And like you know the way, like you know the rules. There are no rules, man. We're lost. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna try to walk her because I'm if she poops, great. If she doesn't, I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. Stay. Stay. All right, let's go. Normally, when we walk her, we go to the dog park that's in our apartment complex. This is how it normally looks. John usually is holding the leash. We're gonna walk her. Hopefully, she takes a poopy, but if not, it's okay. We'll see y'all back at the apartment. We're home. There she goes, drinking water. Now, we're just going to chill out. Relax for the rest of the night. I will see you guys at the outro with a nighttime skincare routine. I just finished washing my face. This is the rest of my skincare routine. I have a huge pimple on my temple. You can see it. I'm gonna put a pimple patch on it. I ran out of the star face ones, so I just have like a bunch of like- Bruh. No, I dropped it. I'm just gonna see which one will work best for that pimple. And. I like to put on pimple patches and leave them on for like longer than you're supposed to because I just hate having pimples. I'd rather walk out with a pimple patch than have a pimple. Like I said earlier in this video, I use this one as my night toner. It's the e.l.f. Supertone. It smells like lemons, which like, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of. For my PM moisturizer, I'm using the Coco Kind Texture Smoothing Cream. One thing to know about this texture cream is like, you rub it and it won't like absorb into the skin so you kind of have to like smooth it out and like kind of dab it as you can see it's absorbed into the skin my skin looks really nice and plump i'm gonna use that same disposable spoolie that i used this morning i got like a hundred of the these disposable spoolies so there's no reason for me to like to be using the same one but i i like keep it with the rest of my skincare stuff that's it for my nighttime skincare routine and that's also it for the this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching just a little bit of what my life is like as an unemployed girly for now let me know what other videos you like to see from me thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one bye